Okay, looks like we're live. Hello, and welcome back to episode four, season four of The Joy of Planting. I believe this will be the fourth episode. Um, so yeah, we are going to keep working on this. Uh, I believe I've done a little bit of work off stream. I think I had done six uh, last time I had streamed. Um, I think three and four were done on stream. Yeah, and that. Um, I had done a little touch-ups to 10. I think I did that off stream. And actually this won't be 11, but I deleted some of the holes for other stuff. Um, so this would be 12, 14. I did a little work on what would be the 14th hole. So there's that. And then I had passed the file to Maddie, and he did some doodling for a, uh, a par 3 course that would be out on the uh, perimeter of the, uh, the, the plot. So... So yeah, we will uh, we'll keep chugging away at this, just throwing down some quick hole concepts. Uh, I think I'm gonna skip these three for now. I think Forrest wanted to do the um, wanted to build the holes uh, around the lake, so I'll let him do those, and I'll just kind of keep plugging away at maybe some of the um, um, maybe more pedestrian. Uh, um, uh, what do you want to call it? Uh, more pedestrian wire words hard uh, whole locations hello welcome to the stream we are just uh, kicking back up and doing a little uh, did a little doing a little more work on this one All right, sorry let me Uh, no, I don't need Spotify because we want to be able to upload this. We need um, just kick off any of the any of the playlists. Yeah, it's off to a good start so far. I like this section. I think I'm gonna have to spread it out just a little bit. It's gonna be a hard fit and cart path in this one and, and giving the holes enough space to breathe, so. I think I can do cart path around the outside this way. So you do that. Should then leave. Doing it around this way, probably. By crossover. I think we want to move this hole out of the way just a little bit. Again, yeah, we're getting a little, a little tight in terms of. Um, um, cutting into some stuff. Okay, we want we want the plot to be uh, you know a little a little tightly routed, but we're gonna be kind of cutting it a little a uh, little close. In in what's uh, doable. I think we can make this work. I can also move. I think I want to move the T's for this one over just a little bit. We can reel this in a little bit. And we can drop the T's for this hole on the other side. Well, maybe not that far. I think this is supposed to be a par five. Let me drop this back in and check. Oh, oh, very much so. Yeah, so this is our three shot five. All right, easy enough.
Alright, and then I'll we'll move, yeah, I'll have the red one up a significant amount. So we only want it to run up this this hill here. Probably kind of cut over and down. So yeah, the, the, the part that will make this one interesting is uh, making kind of the layup area uh, unique, so. So we'll have to have all sorts of hazards in there. Alright, so we can have, yeah, we can throw a couple bunkers on, on here to kind of scare you out that way, and then that'll give you kind of a rougher angle into the layup areas. We probably want to pinch this a little bit up here. I want something like that. Could work just fine. So then that gives us a little bit of a dog leg we can cut off. If the wind's in your favor, maybe you can reach here. And with downwind, you can probably reach this with like a big three wood. So that is an option. How wide is this? Yeah, so wide. Um, but it's also sloped, so it's not going to play nearly as wide as it is on the card. Ooh, actually, I can sprinkle some trees in here as well. Just, uh... Um... You know, again, if you bail out way left, it complicates your... your layups, or your, uh... You know, your go-for-it, uh... You know, miracle, uh... or aggressive second shots. Yeah, thanks, Heisenberg. Um, yeah, there's there's a lot of work t left to do on that one. I'm not really sure how... Um, like, I know I want to do that idea, but I'm not sure how much modifications I'm going to need to really make it work. So, still very much a work in progress, but I'm glad you like the, uh, the start so far. I might make a couple style tweaks to that yet. I'm not positive. Or more testing out ideas. green do I want to put in here? Probably want a smaller one, because you'll be just hitting, you know, with the exception of a heroic, uh, you know, like downwind second shot, you'll just be hitting wedges into this, so... You know, essentially it's just a, uh, um, I think the key for, actually we want to raise this up a little bit. I don't want it to sit below everything. All right.
Alright. We'll let it swing out that way. Something like that should work, I think. Don't know if I want, actually, yeah, let's do, let's do some runoff long. I like that idea. So that way if you kind of bail long, it'll, it'll roll off, oh, oh, you know, away from the green a little bit for you. I might have to might have to shift that T box a little bit, but we can make that work. Uh, and yeah, Heisenberg, I, I I think I agree. And a couple folks I've chatted with who have tried that that Terra Ed style have kind of agreed that it, um, that that's probably easier than letting the you know, trying to make the um, the fairways run directly into the um, like the waste areas, like the real life version does. You know, it's probably not the best idea. It's really hard to pull off, and it limits a lot of kind of the like fairway shapes and things like that. You can't really do a lot of turns or or like ragged edges or stuff like that. It has to be like very smooth spline work to make that work. That being said, I still, I might try to do something like sand belt-ish where, um, um, where I can make bunkers cut into the fairways at certain points without, um, you know, just do that in select spots where I want it. Hey Shot, how's it going? Maybe I move that out just a little bit. I suppose I can always just redo this too. I just want to get a general idea of cart path and make sure it works, so it doesn't have to be perfect yet. Yeah, so I, I have the general ideas worked out, and it's more just dialing in the detail bits and and the execution of those ideas. I'm, I'm excited to give it a go, though. It should be fun. Actually, the screen's gonna be a little bigger than I uh, than I thought. It'll be a fairly decent size. But that's okay. We can, again, if it's if it's a little bigger than we intended and it plays too easy, then you just dial up the green slopes a little bit. You can always fine tune these things as you go. That being said, I don't think this is going to be overly, uh, you know, this will be too small, and I can I can guard it pretty well with some bunkers and stuff as well. Figs, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, and I kind of, I've been, I've, I've found myself fretting over um, ideas a little too much, and I, I'm, I'm at the point where I think I need to st stop thinking quite so much uh, this early in the in the project, and just, um, just go with some really quick hole concepts for this one. I, again, it's it's a collab project, and and Forrest can't. Well, I should say, uh, he's not able to really do a whole lot of work on the course file the, this week, so, you know, if I just throw down a, a good handful of basic whole concepts and then we sit down and, and tweak them later and, and that sort of stuff, then that works pretty well. And it takes a lot of the pressure off of when you're just doodling things that, like, it needs to be a great finished whole concept. 
I just I need uh, I think I need we just need to free stuff up and get that uh, kind of just creative energy uh, flowing. Hence, it's the don't worry about it being good. Just make something, anything, and and go from there. Like, sometimes, maybe it's just me, but I, uh, at least I find a lot of times the hardest part of, of, uh, you know, getting started on, on course designs is just, like, staying moving and just put something down and not getting stuck by, you know, usually it's, you're just putting a lot of, or at least I'm putting a lot of pressure on myself of, hey, this should be good, make something good, and, and, letting that get in the way of, of, you know, freestyling ideas and things like that. Alright, I, I like how this flows over the landscape. This is, um, this is a cool start. I could tweak it a little bit, but again, good start. I just realized I should try, um, I, guess, I think there's, uh, like, DCMA, um, uh, what do you want to call it, uh, safe playlists on Spotify. I need to try some of those, and we can, uh, we can get a little more variety into the, the music in the back background. So I might, I might have to try that out on, um... We might try that out on some, um, uh, what do you want to call it? We'll probably start trying that out on some random streams. Just make sure it works and, like, I don't lose VODs or anything. And then we can start, uh, putting it in the, uh, joy of planting stuff. Alright. No, I want to edit that one. That's what I'm doing. Why is that still not working? Oh, because I'm on the wrong spline. Yup. This makes way more sense. Okay. There we go. That's more like it. Okay. Yeah, no worries. I, I, I gotcha. I mean, admittedly, it's, you know... I, I, get, I do mix up the playlists that I pull from, but... Like, all of the playlists generally have most of the same songs in there. It's just they're in a different order. So, yeah, it's... You know, you definitely get to the point where you recognize all the songs after a while. It's not bad, I don't mind it, it's just, yeah, it gets, it, I've, I've heard these all a lot, so, no worries. We'll, we'll see what we can do to, to freshen some stuff up. Yeah, again, we'll have to do some... We'll have to do some tweaking on this uh, fairway at some point, but let's do a quick play test just to make sure that this kind of works. Ooh, I'll have to definitely, um, oh, and I'm on the wrong T-set. 
Well, I mean, I'm uploading these to YouTube, so the whole song request thing was never gonna work for these anyway. Yeah, I can't make that bend from here. Not with the, not with the, uh, the short driver. I'm gonna move that mouse. Alright. And I mean, you can still do a little bit with requesting music and stuff, it's just basically you either can't have VODs or, um, or they're all going to be muted all of the time. Yep, agreed. They have, I mean, they have some, like, uh, value, but, but very limited. Generally, it's just, again, if you're doing, like, like, design streams can kind of get away with them. Purely if, in case, like, if you're watching a, a VOD of a design stream, Odds are you're just like, for me, I usually am uh, doing that to check in on the progress of uh, like projects that I'm following, stuff like that. So I usually skip through it anyways, and um, I don't mind as much if it's muted. with these later. We want to get just a general idea of where all these trees are going. We want enough to, you know, to make this, this line a little scary. Buildings put in the spite the uh, the best course in the game. Uh, no, they they were there before we uh, we discovered said course. Um, I'm I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep them or not. 
I was debating if I kind of wanted this to be like more of an urban park vibe or um, oh, what do you want to call it? More secluded, but uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll we'll figure that out as we go. I'm gonna be careful not to overdo the trees and and blot out the um, like the greens for the. Uh, the part three course that we'll be putting in. We'll figure that out. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Well, that's 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 a that's a Jeff society. This is this is something slightly different. I can even put I can even put a couple uh, trees off to the side here and really do some some framing of this if I wanted, but. Okay, we'll, we'll see what pops out at me. I think, I think it's hilarious how that course has just become like absolute meme overnight. It's it's kind of wonderful. And admittedly uh, well deserved. I mean, yes, as, as annoying as it is dealing with, uh, with just people who are going to be complete jackasses, um, at least we got some of the greatest copy pasta out of it. It's just so good. Alright, let's start filling in some bunkers here. really struggling to come up with, with good bunkers for this and I really shouldn't be because it's just like building what you know are essentially just really standard uh, kind of Matt F style bunkers. I, want, I probably need to split this into two and I should scale them down. We'll do something like that. Something like that should work. That's a good start anyway. And I can we can sort the details out later. 
For a mosaic, a, a mosaic of grass and sand. Introducing Andre to the the magic of of uh, of Storm King was uh, kind of hilarious. I'm I'm shocked he hasn't stumbled across that course yet. Just denied the greatness for so long. Again, we'll we'll sort out the details as we go. And that's that's a fine start. I don't want to get caught up in the minutia of it. That is fair. I mean, yeah, I can I, I can see him avoiding that one. You can't you can't deny the greatness though. think he's a professional anymore but yes yes he is like, I, I, I believe he was a professional voice actor at some point we're, we're very we're very lucky to have him in the community he's hilarious I might, I might have to see if I can get him to, um, you know, to hop back in the, uh, uh, well, recording booth, so to, so to speak, and we'll have to do some, uh, we'll have to do some, like, CC voiceovers and stuff. Maybe? I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Tooly dude or something? Um Oh, in rookie contest two years ago. Um God, I gotta remember what the I can't remember what the guy's name was. I know I think I know who you're talking about. Um and I'm just blanking on who that was. It's been so long. Whatever. I we don't need to we don't need to fret over the bunkers that much. Just put something down to make sure the whole concept works and call it a day. Are you thinking it was it was um are you thinking of the the Tottenham guy? Is, is that the one we're thinking of? Maybe. Yeah, I, I again, 
it, it's it's been so long and it's you know there there's so many misunderstood geniuses that you know just need to get in a in a huff about everything so it's so hard to tell or you know to, to keep them all apart Yeah, that'll work. I, I managed to find myself in the middle of a lot of um, uh, interesting threads, and that was uh, that was no um, uh, no different. I mean, I realistically, I probably get myself in a lot of trouble by opening my stupid mouth, but eh. I mean, I guess it's always amusing, right? Yeah, again, we'll we'll sort these out later. I'm not I'm not thrilled with the bunker shapes just yet. I don't know if it's doing a great job of framing this green, but like we can we can agonize uh, over silly little details like that later. Especially since the you know the whole concept is likely to change at least somewhat over the uh, um, uh, between now and the the finish line for this project. But you know we'll just have generic uh, protected green site there. I feel like I need I need something in here as well. Not sure exactly how we're gonna handle that, but And then we'll drop... We'll drop some kind of bunker in here. that just a little bit or, or kind of slope those in a way that's helpful yeah that'll work That'll work. All right, awesome. Check a message here quickly. Mm -hmm. 
You're going to be on a bit longer, putting kids down, but want to catch up. Watch a bit of episode three today. Yeah, I mean, I figure at least like another 45 minutes minimum. Maybe an hour. At, at the very least, like, uh, I figure that'll be how long I'll, I'll make the episodes. Usually, like, somewhere in the, you know, like, you know, hour 20 to, you know, hour 50 or so is kind of normally the, the target length for these. Hi, Orion. Orion, will you quit it? Thank you. What music are you using right now? Um, I believe it's uh, it's a like a Twitch extension called SoundCloud. Um, I, it's solid. Uh, it's just again, it's when you when you um, you know use it a ton, it gets kind of repetitive. So I might I might be trying some some Spotify playlists that should hopefully work uh, for the purpose at some point. But we're gonna try those out first. Uh, yes, sir. Did I say SoundCloud? Uh, sorry, that's the yeah, that's a different thing. I think. Um, uh, let me let me double check. It is Soundstripe. Yes, thank you very much. Ow, Orion, you're just all feisty all of a sudden, aren't you? Although I suppose it is about time I feed him, so I might have to hop off for just a minute to do that. But we can we can finish this up quickly. Should have thought about that before I went live, but that's okay. We don't we don't plan any of these things out. That's that's not our style. We just wing it. Something like that can work. And I can just throw another couple in here. Something like that can work. Is this your typical strategy in creating and sculpting bunkers? Uh, for the most part, um, it'll vary from project to project. Um, like different different style bunkers, I'll do in in a little bit different ways. Um, but for kind of like your standard, um, like kind of well defined. Uh, uh, like Parkland style courses with with like these type of bunkers, then yes, this is this is how how I do them for the most part. I think I go into um, I I think I have a 
yeah, I have a video on my YouTube channel where I kind of cover a little bit of the um, like the technical stuff on how I how I do bunkers. So if you're if you're curious to learn more about it, um, I believe I break it down a little bit more in uh, in that video. I think it's just one. There's something that's not quite working about this edge here. Let's see if we can smooth it out and and re re sculpt some of it. Yes, uh, yeah, splines work just fine. I, I don't tend to use them purely because I like to I like to have a little bit more jagged shapes uh, in mind that that don't really mesh with splines as well. And um, that and I'm just kind of used to doing it, uh, doing them this way from, you know, older games where splines uh, weren't nearly as effective or or in the case of TGC one didn't exist uh, so it's it's more just uh, you know uh, don't fix what ain't broke type uh, situation it's just I, I learned how to do them this way and uh, um, splines haven't uh, like, splines have definitely made it way easier and neater to do fairways uh, a long time ago, but to me, they, they haven't made bunkers necessarily better for me. So I still just do it the old way. I've, I, you know, I've learned a couple tricks for, you know, for this sort of stuff, so... And that's totally fair. That works too. There's there, there really is no right way to do bunkers. Um, I mean, there's pro there's a couple wrong ways to do bunkers, but um, yeah, there's there's plenty of very different ways to to get the job done. You don't you don't have to use any one particular method in order to you know to have good bunkers on a golf course. significant uh, portion just to I want to get those a little more visible all right there we go that works Again, we'll, we'll fine-tune that later. Just throwing quick ideas in for now. Kind of prototyping, if you will. Um, I mean, generally, if you're just doing, like, if all of your bunkers are single shapes, and, and you're just kind of throwing them down uh, on your course, um, just, like, dropping them into your fairway and not, not like minding the edges at all or um you know just just haphazardly slopping them into the you know again or uh putting it in the fairway not sculpting them that sort of stuff so here we can you know we can we can demonstrate again it's you see that so often with with rookie courses
Like if, if you're if you're doing bunkers in the um like I can't. I'll just grab a big oval oh, one. I'm like, hey, I want a bunker here, and then just like slopping them in like this. Yeah, like we just see tons of stuff like this, where that's the extent of what you did with your bunkers, and yeah, like no sculpting, no no planning around the surfaces. You get like all these weird artifacts where all the surfaces cross over, that sort of stuff. Or even, you know, again, I like when people go, ooh, I want a slightly different shape, so I'll, I'll do this one. Nobody, nobody's gonna recognize that bunker shape. Or, yeah. Yeah, and we, we just, we just get the gamut of shapes. Like, we get so many people who just do bunkers like this, and it's, it's just, it never works. It never looks good. And, like, you know, yes, you have to sink a little more time into it to do them to do them well, but like just the the results are are, are so much better. T-shirt. Alright. The good news is that it's a three-shot hole anyway. Although this shot in will not be fun. No, it will not. Alright. Especially not when I'm hitting it like that. I can still par this. Not quite. I mean, I, I think I let people start the instant they signed up. So, I mean, if you signed if you signed up early, um, then I don't know. I think you'd have like four-ish months, maybe five. Was it? I don't remember when I uh, opened signups. So some people had definitely hopped on early and started. All right, that's. I think that's. A, I think that's a pretty good start for this one. Although I should, um, you know, we should touch up the green just a little bit, so it doesn't. Yeah, you know, it doesn't slope off nearly as much. Even though now we're just taking all of the. Um, uh, what do you want to call it? Contours out of it. We'll uh, we'll, we'll add those back in later. I can, you know, we'll add more trees to the outside. Should be, it should be a, a good, a good start there. Now I need to take a quick pause and go feed our rinds. I'll be back in just a second.
All right, sorry about that. We're back. All right, next we are going to hop into. I think we're gonna try this uh, this long par three that we have sitting here. I think this one. I think this one's. Uh, it's it's a promising spot. We should be able to create something cool here. I want to use a lot of the you know the slopes that are already there can make this a sizable green Kind of crossover dog leg thing. All right. I don't know if it quite does it for me. All right, you're very in the way. All right. So Penny, are you in? Uh, I am. Yeah, I'm one of the team captains, so I am in the uh, uh, McConnell Petty role. Should be uh, should be interesting. I'm gonna. I, I have. A, I'm gonna be kind of swamped. Uh, with with all the stuff I have going on over the next couple months, so it'll be uh, it'll be real interesting to um, try and uh, juggle everything. I think we can pull it off. All right, I think that's maybe more promising. Although it's also uphill, just getting, you know, having to um, kind of even all this out is going to be interesting. Especially trying to sink this into like a, uh, 
like a runoff is gonna be tough. I don't know if that's the, maybe I don't throw that back there. Um, it'll, it'll be, um, uh, Dan, uh, Pithy Doc, uh, Pithy Dr. G. So that should be fun. I think we're going to have a, uh, we're going to have a, a interesting group. Do I want to run off this way? Maybe. That might make more sense. That would, that would, uh, we can have that fall off easier. It fits the slopes better. I feel like this shouldn't be that hard, and yet it is. Oh, hi, Matt. Oh, hi, doggy. We were just talking about um, uh, Dream Team and how interesting it should be. Which I like, I like this slope. Maybe we, maybe we can incorporate a little bit of green back, back this way with, with, uh, said slope. I don't know if that's too big for a green. 30 across and 55 deep. Something like that can work. And then we can raise like the land up here and here. Throw some some bunkers in there. Yes, I did not eat her. I did not. Oh hi Mark. How much time do you have to finish the par 3 course? Also, do you hate it? Uh, no, I don't hate it. Um, you know, I... I think it's just fine. I think it's off to a good start. Um, yeah, I, I... I'm worried I might be encroaching slightly on one or two of these holes, but... Um, I think we're okay here. But yeah, I like the course. I think it's a good start. And, and, uh, you basically have all the time in the world to finish it. Um, there's really no deadline to this project, so, um, like, this is, um, you know, there's no, uh, there's nothing attached to this course. It's just, um, um, kicking, uh, kicking an idea around, so. Check out the ninth hole and what it's going to be. <laughs> Sorry, that's a big gun. Um, that would be this one. I'm assuming that's this one. This is this is going to be like the like the long punch bowl, right? Er, uh, at two fifteen, that's a hefty one. Yeah, that should be crazy.
Why am I struggling so much with coming up with a good a good hole here? All right, we're just all right. Let's. What do we have here? Yeah, again, it's like 190 to the front. I know that. I could just go. Sort of. Uh, wide and shallow with it. Green would be massive. Yeah, what? 50 by 50. 50 by 40. So that might be a bit much. So let's see. Let me check. Uh, so for CC contest, the possible require at least one template hole of your choice. Please specify template. Yeah. Um, can it be a real life hole that you're recreating, or um, I need whiskey, Matt? Apparently, I do. Um, yeah. The goal is to yeah. It's um. Um, it, yeah, it's to use one of the, yeah, one of the, like, um, Rainer, um, uh, McDonald templates, um, hang on, the, the point is taking one of, yeah, cause the, those, those templates are basically just essentially ideas on how to, how to construct the whole, and it's, it's up to you to take that idea and, and flesh it out on a, uh, uh, you know, on the course that, that you've built, you know, in the style that you've built that course. So again, it doesn't have to, um, you know, obviously it doesn't have to be done in their, in their visual style, but, um, but essentially it's just the, you know, did you take that template idea and, you know, essentially, do you understand what makes it work and why? And, um, yeah, and what Manny said, the, you know, the point of that is to, to demonstrate that you understand what, um, you know, what that template is, you know, what makes it good and, and, um, uh, replicating that or, or you know, creating your own version of that as opposed to just, you know, it, it's the did you create something interesting versus did you just copy this whole so yeah we, hopefully uh you know obviously you can take inspiration from real life holes but but uh just uh straight copying a real life hole wouldn't really count as a template in my opinion even if that's kind of what some of the templates are is is starting starting from a real life hole and then breaking it down into its elements and then recreating those elements like the road hole but you know the road hole is an existing hole but it's like oh but but here's the characteristics of a road hole and i can i can recreate that you know without needing a hotel and an actual road type thing i can you know it's the oh the the thing is you know like, uh, you know, diagonal tee shot and a narrow green, etc., etc., like that sort of stuff. It doesn't physically need a road in it. 
Yeah, I think that'll work. We'll, we'll have to come up with something more interesting for the green, but that's a start. I do kind of want to create... I'm going to throw a big ridge in here. doing with this hole. Alright, actually maybe a maybe a maybe we pull this in just a little bit. Something like that. Who knows? Retaining walls, yes, obviously. Hey, Orion, just pick a spot, would you? You're making this very difficult. Just pick a spot. off the keyboard, thank you. Maybe we do... That could work for a green. And then I can like raise this ridge up a little. I can have like a bunker on either side of it. Something like that. Let's try that. Yes, meow meow purr purr. Absolutely, but uh, see I don't mind that Orion sitting in my lap, nor do I mind him sitting on my desk, but he always very much wants to lay on my keyboard, which, you know, or, or he just constantly wanders all over my, my desk trying to find new spots that, uh, that he's comfortable in, and it makes it very hard to do anything. Well, that's okay, because he's adorable, so he gets away with it. Oops. That's not what we wanted. Ah, crap. Alright.
Okay, we'll just do it better this time. What startled you, Orion? What? There's nothing happening. There's nothing here. Relax. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, Gerald can do whatever he wants. I mean, although realistically, couldn't you just take a uh, an existing uh, Gerald routing and then just change all of the pars on it and call it the the par three course? Like you could make a um, you could make a quote uh, bouclier uh, uh, par three course, and it's just the exact same course except all of the holes are changed to par three. Or is this has an add-on to a, uh, you know, like, uh, a new Gerald project. And you're just doing, like, a regular course and the, the par 3, which is, you know, also just a regular course. People hating, um, need some merch? Yes, 100%. I feel like we need some kind of, like, stylized tractor logo. I mean, like, we could, we could come up with one. And it can't be, like, a John Deere logo or something. You know, something, something that is not already copy, you know, or, or does not have any copyright issues.
I am doing just good, or doing just fine, how are you? There's bunker number one. Oh, you can pencil in bunker number two. Yeah, this is, um, at least visually, this is a good start for this one. Again, it's a brood of a hole. I think... I think if I, uh, you know, we wanna... We wanna bump the back of it up a little bit. Give it, you know, a little bit of, like, a backstop bowl shape type thing. Also, it makes it extra terrifying if you go along because the entire green slips back at you. This is kind of going to be this. Now, this is kind of the same length as the first par three. I think I need to move the tees back then. Actually, maybe I might need to move one of the tees over here. Oh, that's a brood of a hole from there. Uh, I, I have no idea. I, probably not. It's all. It, they don't tend to have a lot of songs with lyrics in them, so. Fine, move. Just pick something. There you go. one yet, but we'll start here. All right.
let's see. That'll work just fine. up a little more <laughs> building porn time that's a uh oh okay that's a um Odd choice of phrase, but hey, I don't judge. We don't we don't kink shame in this stream. He'll he'll drop off there, but we can uh, we can work with something. Bunkers, there you go. Well, actually, I could just uh, just move the hole, keep the length, and resituate it slightly. Although, yeah, the, the back tees are a little bit of a problem there. I think we, I think this will work okay though. Yeah, that, that hill isn't too dr okay, it's a little dramatic, but I think we can, we can smooth it out a little and have it make more sense. Alright, that's fine. Oh, 
Come on, Maddie, use the sword. What do I have mods for? Oh no, that's not a swing. Fine, I'll ban him. You gone. You missed your chance, Maddie. You could have used the sword for good, but no. Everything's a red fast. What are we, what are we doing here? Exactly. Hey, you too. What, what are my, my mods are asleep on the job? Hey, we hit a shot. We blow it over. All right. That's a decent, uh, yeah, actually we could probably just move that pin to something that makes more sense, or somewhere that makes more sense. Like right here. Figure we want a couple, we want a couple big trees over, uh, uh, hanging over the, the green here. Maybe? I don't know. Oh yeah, I need cart pass, so. No ways, uh. Have you worked on the Reese Jones template yet? Um, sorry, um... Yes, yes I have. I think I had sent you a picture. I moved the bunker into the the line of charm so that it's not a Reese Jones template anymore. Um, so there actually is something that, that, uh... I mean, admittedly, now it's probably just as much of a Reese Jones template because there's bunkers on both sides of the landing area, but... At least, I mean, at least the, uh, you know, the bunker placement makes a little bit more sense. You have a rollout hazard in there, and you, you kind of, like, if you want to take, if you want to cut the corner, you have to carry that, or if you're playing out to the corner for the better angle, then the other bunker's in play. I don't think I changed anything else. I think I have, you know, again, green's not finalized yet, so we can... We'll do all, you know, all sorts of stuff with that. Yes, Maddie, my sexual uh, orientation is bunkers. Or, or I, I identify as a bunker. Or I, I, don't, I don't know what the joke is. Oh, we're out. 
path out behind that way. I can put the other like T's kind of over this way. Uh, not in that way. That's that's not what we were going for. Very, very much not what we were going for. This is, this is what I get when I just try to make off-the-cuff jokes. Is that they just come out horribly wrong. Alright. That's right, and then we can cross over. Do the thing. All right, there we go. Something like that'll work for our path on that one. Of course, then I have to worry about it uh, cutting into twelve, but we'll figure that out. Do you like numbers? I, or well, yeah. All, all of the whole numbers are wrong because I uh, you know, deleted all of the holes so that Maddie could have some to get work. Get rid of the trees on the left clubhouse view. But you have a clubhouse view. Oh yeah, I do. Um, I don't know. I I think they frame it okay, and you can still see the clubhouse. They're not in the way. You can see through them just fine. It looks it looks way too open in here if there aren't any trees. In my opinion, anyway. Plus you get the you get the you get the clubhouse view on 18. Also, I could just move the or the clubhouse too. That works. I mean, I probably would have to do that anyway. Cuz it's it's a little it's a little tight with four, so yeah. Here. Bam. There we go. Much better. How about that? Yeah, I, I'll figure something out. But hey, we're just we're just experimenting right now. figure out what I'm gonna use for thumbnails for these videos. Normally I do like work in progress holes, but I don't know if they really photograph that well. I don't know. What, what are your guys' thoughts? Should I keep using uh, like work in progress pictures of the of the course I'm working on, you know, a, as it comes together and potentially just have kind of iffy slash uh, uninteresting screenshots for the videos or um, or thumbnails, that's the word I'm looking for. Or, or should I just, like, uh, um, I don't know, grab, grab something different? <laughs> that's pronouns are bunkers and waste. Absolutely. Can we get a pronoun check in here? Definitely more sand belt. Yeah. You know. Heavy rough to cover up for some of the issues that we have in there. Much better. Mm. 
I just want to be careful I don't overdo the trees and, uh, you know, uh, what do you want to call it? Start encroaching on the, uh, the par 3 course. Again, if, if the template thing doesn't work out, I mean, like, the whole concepts are great. I, 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 I think you've nailed the, like, at the very least, I think you've, you've nailed it in terms of, uh, like, whole concepts. And if it's just, like, admittedly, it's a very se uh, severe piece of land, so... Like, if, if you just decide later that you want to change the visual style of it, then that's fine. I, I, in my limited experience with going for that Rainer look, I think it's a little tough to do that when the land's really severe, but... Again, it's... Whatever, whatever works for you is, is fine by me. Exactly. Nobody will ever look at your work. Alright, well I just realized I'm hitting like about an hour 45 on this. And I'm, uh, I think I'm kind of starting to hit a uh, pretty good stopping point for this one. We have uh, a pretty finished par 3 here. And the decent bones of a, of a par 5. I don't know if I did a great job of talking through all the design decisions on this one, but eh, we'll, we'll work it out. Of course, I guess once we start, uh, I'll do a lot of the polishing on, on stream as well, so... Um, once, once we start really finalizing what the, uh... Uh, what the the whole concepts are and what what we're aiming for, we can we can dive into a lot of that for this you know uh, uh, for the video series. That being said, uh, we're off to a, a good start, and and I think just kind of filling in what what I what I see in the in the land land shapes so far is not a bad way to do it for now. Thank you, sir. Plus, I think, yeah, we're, uh, we'd be missing a couple holes, whatever, whatever forest lays in. Oh, uh, speaking of which, uh, are you still in, uh, are you still in chat? Um, I think I, um, I think we had discussed, uh, I think, I think you said you wanted the par 3 by the water and the, the drivable 4. So I, I, I've left open all the, um, the three holes by the lake. Oh, and number seven, the kind of that drivable par four over there. So you have the two short par fours, kind of a mid-length one on the water, and then the par three on the water. So if if you did or didn't want to 
to put in the whole concepts for those, let me know. I just realized how many, like, how many functional whole concepts we have on this course already. We're really only missing, like, we're missing two, three, four, five, six, six holes. So we have 12 so far. So, or no, uh, 13. Did I count wrong? Uh, um, oh, no, 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 yeah, that's right, it's 12. I'm, I'm forgetting the entire front nine isn't done. It's off to a, off to a good start. Um, let's see, is there anything I hadn't done? Actually, we can, we, we'll do a quick play test of 10 onward. Um, since, uh, none of those, I don't think I've, you know, showed these off on stream. Uh, I mean, these bunkers are just placeholders. I, I was kind of feeling stuck with those and didn't want to, didn't want to waste a ton of time on those. I'm just, we're just not going to hit any good shots. Let's rewind. So does anyone want to uh, stream after this? So I should probably call it an evening. There, that's that's more like what we expect the tee shots to be like. I think I think C Mount normally starts streaming around this time, so. Oh, McConnell. Yeah, well, uh, once we finish this, I'll take a look and see who's live. I like I like the land movement of this one. I might have to tweak those trees just so that they don't sit directly uh, or they don't block out that 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 bunker on the corner. But I like I like the general ideas of this one so far. And yet again, I, I you know, green hasn't been penciled in yet. We just we just have the green sight, so. Again, good start. Oh, that being said, this isn't this won't actually be the eleventh hole, but I think that'll, that'll be uh, fourteen. Then this will be fifteen, and the par three will be sixteen. Yeah, this will this will be a this will be a tough stretch. I think I think yeah I think sixteen or uh, fifteen sixteen seventeen are going to be really tough, and then eighteen should be like a gettable gettable par five up the um up the hill, going back to the clubhouse. Yeah, it's not going to cut it. Yep, and then our, our last hole, the uh, uh, par 3 16th, long par 3. I cannot hit a tee shot on this to save my life. Alright. There we go. There we go. That's that's what we uh, that's what we've done recently. That in the part three, which we'll uh, we'll show off at a uh, a different time, I think. Let's see. I'm not sure if I should or want to work on this over the next couple days. So I can always pass it to Maddie to do more uh, tinkering with the par three if you wanted, especially now that I have uh, some pretty decent estimates of uh, twelve and, and or well, you know, whatever these two holes, uh, fifteen and sixteen, in. and yeah, and I bailed and moved the clubhouse again. I'm really gonna have to figure out how to make that work, but. I guess I can, I can always move the uh, driving range too. Easy enough. All right. Anyway, uh, here we'll pause the music. Uh, thanks everybody for tuning in. It was great having you. Let's go check and see who is uh, live.
Uh, looks like it's uh, it's it's Jeff and uh, and pleated pants, but pleated pants is uh, playing MLB. Well, uh, oh, and uh, Killer Bees just went uh, live uh, himself. We'll see. Any any preferences of the two? Actually, we'll, uh, we might read Jeff. I just peeking in at. I, I think he's playing a. Uh, RJ Will's course that looks really good. So let's uh let's go let's go sneak in there. All right. Well, uh thank you everybody for uh for tuning in. It was great having you and we will see you next time. Until then, have a good one.